if you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CB in that one 800 They usually ask this after sermons, after church. If somebody doesn't know Jesus and they want to come up to the altar and give their heart and life to God and Jesus, um, it says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins. I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. And it's a Billy Graham prayer. They usually do this after sermons, after church. Uh, once you say this prayer, they'll send you an awesome little booklet called A New Day. It has questions and answers you might have about coming to know Father God and Jesus. And it's pretty amazing. Um, they also have the Superbook app, which you can download. It has the whole Bible on it. Out of all the other Bible apps, that one's the easiest to download. Um, they have awesome resources for kids and families. Um, and then if you want to go on there and pray for people, there's awesome ways to also donate. If you feel like the need to donate or go volunteer and do stuff, they have all that. Um, it's pretty neat. It's pretty amazing to read about. Anyways, if you want to give a heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN 1-800-775-9413. Tell them you'd like to say the sinner's prayer and they'll say it along with you. Uh, they're pretty amazing. Again, I didn't know Jesus was returning until about eight years ago. Jesus returned and I got left behind in this dream. Uh, somebody shared Jesus on Facebook at first. I was like, why are they sharing Jesus, especially on Facebook? And I... <laughs> I don't know why I left, but I clicked on it anyways, and I read, I read Abraham and Lee George's testimony. It was about two pages long. It was on some Russian Orthodox website, uh, but they would take it down for, um, it was only up for a couple of days, but praise God that they put it up because that's how I was saved by Jesus through a Facebook share. Uh, somebody was just, just posting about Jesus on Facebook. Um, and then it would take a month later when I uh, got the chain fixed for my cross. I decided to wear my cross. I put my cross on, said a prayer. It was probably the Lord's prayer. I went to sleep. And I dreamt I was in these huge brown chains. Um, I was looking down at my wrists and I was like, what? Why am I in chains? And then I looked up. It was like we were in a parade. We were going through some sort of city that was set on fire. There was this person that had a demon inside them and um, that we were being led away um, and anyways I ran away from my captor or whatever he told him I didn't had to go back for something at my apartment and he laughingly he let me out of my chains because he knew I was still in sin uh, I can read about being in a uh, slave to sin um, in the book of John Chapter 8, I think, when, I don't know, Jesus is yelling at the Pharisees. And the Pharisees are yelling back at him. We haven't been slaves since we were set free in Egypt time. He meant they were slaves to sin. Because they didn't have love in their heart. They had hate. Um, so try to um, have love in your heart. God's love in your heart. Not, not yours. Because yours, I don't know, sometimes. Just not not right you might think it's right but i don't know there's also some good sermons out there i always watch dr charles stanley he does uh, in touch ministries it's pretty awesome it's pretty amazing i that's how i start my day is uh, watching one of his videos and then uh, just read a passage in the bible uh, today i came across i think it was first kings chapter 17 Where's 14 or something where uh, Elijah has come across this woman. He's come into the city and she's a widow and she's poor um, and she's gathering sticks. And I felt that I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I used to do with Abby and River. They used to think that was so much fun that we'd go, go look for deadwood <laughs> sticks because they're the easiest ones to break off. So that we could put it in the fireplace. So it would be like our starter. 
uh, when we put the big pieces of wood on and that's how we sometimes would stay warm and so she's out gathering these sticks and she um, only has a little bit of flour um, and stuff to make stuff with and Elijah tells her you know that so she goes and gets water or something for him to drink and then she offers what little she has to him and um, she said she's gonna her and her son are gonna eat this and then they're gonna perish because they have nothing else to eat and they're gonna die um, but Elijah tells her that if he if she bakes it you know for him because God is with him um, it'll last <laughs> it'll last for a long time uh, so praise God for that because uh, God make, can make all types of awesome things happen when you hand it to God uh, amazing things happen amen uh, so start your hopefully new year off right by talking life over yourself not death you know God is the word in the book of John he talks about that too. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word. <laughs> the holy word. The holy Bible is God. So, you know, speak whatever you speak. Um, it's, it should be life. It should be, you know, praise God for a nice new day. It's nice out. Um, it's a new day. That's how I woke up. I woke up and... I was like, oh my goodness, I have a new day to ask Jesus into my heart while there's still time. So praise God uh, for that. Amen. Um, so you can choose to speak life or death. Choose choose life, not death. Speak, speak life over the day. Um, again, like even people can kind of, they call it, you know, say cursing the day. Um, kind of like witchcraft, you city in weird ways and how it's gonna happen and then I don't know <laughs> you should say it's gonna be a good day praise God uh, we're gonna have energy to do stuff um, and then always well, God's will be done not your will because you know he says that it's his will you don't know what's gonna happen today or tomorrow or what so um, praise God Anyways, get a good day. It's going on a long time. Hopefully you guys are going to have a good New Year's. Uh, don't drink and drive. Um, no, just don't drink at all. You don't need to be drink, drunk or stoned. You can enjoy the day sober. Um, and uh, have awesome sober activities to do. Amen. Um, be nice to people. Um, and just hopefully you guys go to church that's how we used to go start the new year is go by going to church and celebrating the new year uh, praising God and singing songs alrighty good to go I'll talk to you guys later goodbye